Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about how to analyze your backlog data within Explore. If you haven't watched my previous video, What is Backlog?, it may be helpful to view that prior to continuing on to this video. I'll provide the link in the article description below if you'd like to go view that first. Let's get started. So within your backlog tab in your pre-built support dashboard, you'll find a query that represents the weekly historical backlog by status. If your query looks similar to the screenshot here, this could indicate there is a sign of trouble and would encourage you to go take a look at other clues that may help you fill in the gaps as to why that rising backlog is occurring. If you'd like to view this query month over month, I do have a report recipe that I'll link at the end of the video. Another query that you'll be presented with allows you to take a look at backlog by a specific attribute. This screenshot is looking at backlog by agent group. You can ask yourself two questions here. Is one group creating a larger backlog than others? Or if you use a tiered support system, are tickets getting stuck at one tier versus others? This will help you uh, allocate your resources properly and determine if one group is potentially using an inefficient process versus others. Rising backlog can't be the single source of truth. You do have to to take in a couple other um, factors into consideration. Think about the nature of your support requests. What are your requests about? Are they more complex problems? Are they simple one answer questions? And have your requests changed from um, one or the other recently? Think about recent staffing. Have any of your agents been on PTO recently, um, creating kind of a, a backlog for tickets that would be assigned to them? Or have you changed channels in which agents are staffed on? Perhaps you have more agents answering phones than emails right now, which is creating a, a backlog on your email channel. Lastly, consider seasonality. Is this generally a busy time for your organization? Was there perhaps an organizational change that created this backlog? There could be multiple factors that are working together that are creating a backlog. That's all for today and I'll see you next time.